Have you ever received spam or fraudulent messages from sources you didn't recognize? They seemed like businesses, but you really couldn't have been sure. Regardless, it wasn't the most pleasant experience, was it? To tackle the issue of unsolicited and fake messages and increase customer trust, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, popularly known as TRI, introduced DLT or Distributed Ledger Technology. It's basically a blockchain-based registration system. All businesses operating in India who want to send messages to their Indian customers have to mandatorily register themselves under DLT through network operators. Any business that does not register itself will not be able to send messages to its India-based customers. The network operators will simply not let the messages get delivered. Let's understand how the system works. An individual or company who wants to send bulk SMS to its customers can do it by opting for bulk message services provided by a cloud communication organization, like Calera, for instance. Under DLT, each sender receives a unique ID, called the Entity ID, which enables it to send messages. Let's say an entity does not register itself under DLT and tries sending SMS to its customers. The telecom operator will receive the request to send the message and will check for the corresponding entity ID. If it finds that the sender is not registered, in other words, that they don't have an entity ID, it will not honor the request and the message will not get delivered. Now, we'll look at how you can register under DLT in the next video.